Hey guys, this is XFox here, and this is going to be a complete guide on how to complete... Oh man, I'm going to say it wrong. Havenglad Temple. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you guys where this is on the actual map so you guys get a good idea. A Ravenglad. Sorry, I said it wrong. So you can see I'm level 29, and uh, I do have the companion Leonis with me. She's like a dual-handing wielder person. You've seen her all through my videos. So here, I came here because I needed to get the, uh, I think it's like my 7th or 8th uh, Dragon Priest mask because I wanted to go get that special mask in Labyrinthia. So I looked online, someone said go here and get it. I mean, I had no idea you go here and get it. So here I'm just checking the stuff out. And just be prepared. This end boss here is pretty difficult. Um, I do recommend bringing some stamina potions, some magic potions, some health potions, and definitely bring a, um, a companion with you. If you can, someone who can take a lot of hits because, man, the, the end boss here, or the, or the Dragon Priest here, really does a lot of damage. So here it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to go ahead and uh, cruise down into this uh, system here. And again, you can come here whenever you want. You don't need like a quest or anything, but I do recommend you have some pretty good gear when you come here. My gear is not all that great. Like I said, I think I have like blades, armor top, and random steel plate, this and that. So... My guy's okay, but not all that great. So there I casted a little fire breath to, uh, to you know, do a little fire on those guys. And of course, waiting for it to cool down here before I go in. So there we go. So there it is. I mean, you can see how quick this is. It's right there. But what it does is it says, oh, you got you to find two items to unlock this. And so I said, okay. Well, that's pretty easy, and it shows you right on the map, uh, basically where you got to go. Technically, when you turn around, there's going to be one to your right, one to your left. So for me, I'm going to go to the one on my left here first. Either or is perfectly fine. So here we go. We're going to go over to the left, and I think they call it the. Uh, well, I think they call it like the. Uh, uh, geez, the catacombs or something like that, or the. Uh, okay, there, the canal. Anyway. So in here is going to be one of the uh, things that you got to get. So we're going to go ahead and kill more of these Druger rights here. Pretty simple. And all these guys are fairly easy. Just, you know, even if you're a mage, you guys should be able to blast these guys out of the water. No problem. So I'm going to go ahead and pop my healing because, again, I don't know if they're going to come out with... A few Dragoor Lords and just beat me down or what. So I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, continue on here. And here I was like, man, how do I drop that drawbridge? Where do I go? So I'm going to run around here. I couldn't find out where the switch was. And I know sometimes they always hide them switches in like the, the weirdest places. So here, took a look. Oh, come on. You give me some weak gold. You guys better be giving me better than that. The dead body had more gold on it. So here, I was looking where to go. I couldn't find it. I was like, huh. Okay, do I run back this way and go to the right? I can't really go anywhere there. What's going on? Looked on the table for like a switch or a door or something. Then, of course, I see that little this little way right here where you can just jump across. And, of course, I can see the switch over there to the right. Don't know why I didn't see that earlier. You can go ahead and flip that. And here we go. So I'm going to hook back around and go across this little bridge that I opened up. And of course, when you're in here, just these little catacombs are a little difficult to figure out. <laughs> Sometimes I thought I was stuck, but you just gotta weave your way through here. And here we go. You're gonna be able to see the very first item you gotta get here real quick. Um, I was just going back just to make sure. So you're gonna come here, and you can see it over there to my right. And so I was just double checking. So I'm gonna go back and go across. And when you grab it, you're gonna have to fight. Uh, oh, I forgot what his name is. It's sort of like a mini boss, I guess you could say. Right there, he comes out. And there it is. And uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, whatever. So he, I mean, he, he does some decent damage. I mean, he's no slouch, right? So here he's going to cast a, I don't know if it's him or another one of these skeletons, but he casts a, uh, oh, geez, what do you guys call that thing? A, uh, a summoner or whatever. Anyway, so a, uh, what I did here is I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to mess with this guy. I'm just going to hop down there and go beat him down. I'm not going to arch him out or shoot arrows at him. So here we go. It's going to hop down there and go beat him up. In 
for some reason my guy was like stuck on running like that. I don't know what his deal was. But hey, at least I beat him down. So <laughs> wasn't sure what was up there. I was going to check the goodies on this guy to see what he got. And he really didn't have anything that great. I mean, I fought in harder guys uh, with way better stuff. So again here, I'm about, I grabbed that first item. So really you've cleared the left or right side depending on you know if you're facing it or had your back turned to it. I think the poor man's soil is armor. <laughs> Soiled his armor. Ah, anyway. So now all I'm going to do is head back to the place where I came. I know I should probably speed it up and just go there, but I'm going to let you guys sit through me uh, sit through me doing this here. Don't forget there's a treasure box down below sort of hidden under the stairs here. I'm going to go check it out right there. I seen it. Perfect. Decent stuff, nothing that great. I like those because again, my guy is a two-handed uh, beast, and definitely if I can get more uh, hit points in, it's always a good thing. So here we go. We're just gonna head out of here and head right back to that main room where you, it told you to get the two items, and just hop over to the left and go get the item out of that place. So here we go, back into the main room, and this time we're just going to loop around and go and go to the other side here. So you can see there's the casket. So we're going to go over to this side now. Go exactly again where the uh, where the aerial or the indicator tells you. Thought that was a door for a sec there too. So here, going to go into the crypts, and the crypts are sort of just as easy as the other side. Um, really, I mean, not a lot to worry about in the crypts. I mean, you do have a decent amount of these dudes here wanting to brawl you, but overall, you can, you should be able to beat them down pretty easy. So here, just going to check it out, see if I can pick anything good up. I was just like, you know what? Forget it. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares, right? I can get hit by that stuff all day, and it's no biggie. So there we go. We're just going to continue on. Going to go ahead and go down, and you're going to see a lot of these, a lot of these uh, skeletons. Yeah, are coming off the uh, coming off the walls here. You got a, You got a ton of them. I'm just gonna go ahead. Fire breath. I don't think my fire breath is is all that uh, is all that great anymore. I think it's just uh, just my default, right, to do a little bit of extra damage. So I'm I'm gonna check out all my other shouts. I know I got a ton of them, and I'm just gonna see what I can try and find out. So here again, you're gonna fight a few more dragoors, but my guy is just hacking and slashing these guys, no problem. And again, we are getting real close here, guys, to the uh, getting real close to the final boss here. We're more than halfway through this. Uh, through this cave system. So here we're going to check out a few of the items. And again, we're getting super close here. You know, Dwarven Dagger's not bad. But for my guy, again, I don't really need that. So I picked this up. Ooh, can't get a little res restoration up to 49. Not bad. He's got a few Dragoor guys hanging over here. And we are getting, again, real close to this last section or this last room here. Again, all still fairly easy here. Absolutely no problem right here. Going to go in here and pick up this last item. Bingo. And, of course, you're going to have a few, uh, a few dudes here coming out wanting to brawl. But this guy, man, I just come up here and just beat this dude down. I'm not even going to give him a chance to swing at me or anything like that. So perfect. Easier than the last one. Took a look at his loot. Man, he didn't have any. Look at this. I mean, I guess that honed ancient battle sword of whatever is okay, but the item that I have is definitely better than uh, what that currently is. My 
So here we go. We about to grab our. Gonna get the second. Our, we already got the second item. Now we just gotta go back and give it. Uh, put those two items into the uh, into the chest, and then the chest, of course, will open up. So I'm gonna head on my way back, just looking around to make sure there's no hidden loot here. And if there is hidden loot, guys, like always, let me know. I'm sort of, you know, I'm curious to know where the loot is and and things like that. So I'm always, always curious, guys. So here we go. This is going to open the uh, the door earlier that I actually didn't try to open. Just a little shortcut back to the uh, back to the main room, I guess you'd call it. So you don't got to run all the way back, but you can you still got to run a decent decent ways back. Here we go. So here we go. Here comes the uh, the boss fight right here. Again, this guy is one of the dragon priests, so you know he means business. I definitely recommend saving right here because when you do these, he is going to come out with a vengeance. So here we go. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and pop a few uh, items here. I actually died on this dude twice already. So me, I'm thinking, okay, let's let's pop a few of these here just to boost my guy up. And here he is. going to go ahead and land a nice blow on him here. And again, I'm just going to sit here and just hack and slash this guy to death. gonna run in there and beat this guy down you can see I was getting super close to dying right there and that's this is what he did to me last time he just basically shark sparked me to death uh, last time so here I'm gonna go ahead and take all these potions of healing and and uh, vigorous healing and magicka and all that stuff so I know he will not be able to beat me because he was almost dead right when I uh, right when I went to my menu there so perfect that's how I was able to beat him what you want to do now is pick up his staff as well as his mask and that's really what you're here for his staff is pretty sweet but of course his mask is ultimately what you want when you if you want to go to go back to uh, labyrinthia so there it is super strong mask pretty sweet stats on it so this is how you go ahead and clear uh this level if you guys haven't already and also what to expect when you guys come here so if you haven't already Definitely thumbs up, guys, and go ahead and subscribe because I got a ton of Skyrim stuff. Thanks again.